Hey guys, Tom here again from SynthHacker.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this metallic chord synth in Serum from scratch. So let me know what you think, and also if you'd like to see me cover more sounds in this style. When I made this patch, the artists that came to mind were Drolo and some of Flume's sound design, but I'd also be really interested in who comes to mind for you, so let me know in the comments. We're going to start with a basic saw wave with seven voices of detuned unison. Next, we're going to set our amplitude to be almost pluck-like, but with a softened attack. The reason we've gone for such a short amplitude envelope is because most of this sound actually comes from the effects. The key to getting the metallic sound we're after mostly comes from Serum's reverb. Dragging the reverb to the start of the chain, we're going to bring the decay and spin down to zero and the size down to around 2%. We're then going to push the reverb mix all the way up. So as you can hear, the reverb essentially is the sound. Because of this, it's definitely worth paying more attention to the reverb controls themselves. For instance, using the low and high cut parameters to dramatically change the tonal character of the synth. You could also experiment with the spin control, usually used to smooth out the reverb tail to add a wobbly character to the synth. The reason we move the reverb to the start of the effects chain is because we're now going to bring it to life with some more processing. First, add in some more harmonics with some tube saturation. To thicken the sound up a little, we're going to add some chorus, bringing up the low pass filter to not attenuate the high end just yet. We're also going to set up another envelope with a slightly longer decay than our amplitude to modulate the mix amount, resulting in there being more chorus at the tail of the sound. As you can hear, this adds some nice movement and helps the initial transient cut through a little more. At this point, you could also use a filter being modulated by the same envelope to shape the sound further. Although a big part of the sound comes from the artifacts produced by the reverb, as you can hear, the filter just gives you a little more control. Finally, if you wish, you could also just shape the sound further with some EQ. In this case, I just rolled off some of the low end. So from here, you could try play around with different waveforms, experiment with different filter types in the effects, and of course, add some external processing. That's all for this one though, guys. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.